Hi, welcome to another Spark video where we introduce new features requested by customers. Today we present the all new user interface for the MQW solver. The finite element IDE now includes MQW as one of the solvers and can be added to the simulation. This provides a graphical user interface for setting up all the game simulation settings, which was previously possible only through scripting. This includes the ability to easily define and visualize different layers along with their properties such as thickness, strain, and band offset. It also means having the ability to specify the settings, everything from the frequency, enabling the exciton effects, temperature, carrier density, all the way to boundary conditions and how it is set for each site. Once the simulation is run, all the results including band diagram and emission can be accessed through the object. Our two application examples, Edge Emitting Laser and Electro Absorption Modulator, are updated to also include the workflow based on this new graphical user interface. For a detailed description on all the available inputs, be sure to check out the MQW Solver documentation article and also the Semiconductor Material Model article for information about the K.P model used to calculate the electronic band structure of the quantum wells. That's all for this week. Please be sure to submit your ideas and vote for your favorite ones on Lumerical Ideas Exchange so we can continue to enhance your experience with Lumerical products.